G'day everyone and welcome to today's video. Well today I am going to do something in my little glue book. So I created this glue book oh, probably about two or three months ago and I haven't done any videos on it. This is just a quick flip through that I had recently just created some of these pages. So today I just want to show you um, how I actually do it. And this is a Kaiser Craft little notebook as well. So just with blank pages. Now today what I've got is some book pages and I have just ripped them up into some strips so horizontally and vertically and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste these onto my page so I'm just going to alternate the horizontal and the vertical ripped pages onto the page and I'm just going to glue them down with my Yoohoo glue stick. Now I do have a Simon Says Stamp uh, flower here that I'm going to stamp using some VersaFine ink onto the page here. Now my inspiration today has come from Cat Hand. She recently did something like this and I loved it so much that I just had to replicate it. Thanks Cat, for giving me some inspiration. I'm going to use my distress ink markers here and I haven't used them for ages so I don't know what they're going to be like but I thought I would just color in these flowers using the pens just for a change so all the products that I'm using will be listed over on my website and my website link will be listed in the description box down below Now I've got a spotty background stamp here and I'm going to use some VersaFine Vintage Sepia all over the page just to bring this together. Now I saw this wording in a magazine and I just had to cut it out and I thought I would use it today just for my page.
So I've got this flexible border ruler here and I'm just going to use it to put some bordering onto my page. I've just got a black Nico pen and I'm just going to put that on all four sides. Now I can clean off my ruler. I just normally clean it off with either a bit of metho or some hand sanitizer is really good as well. So I'm just going to colour in all my border sides and it looks really effective with this. Um, border on the page. going to use my white gel pen and I'm just going to draw in some doodle circles all on the black area of my border here. adding some clear gesso just to the edges of the book pages and over my let's get started because I am going to just put some shading on. Now because I use some distress inks on here I just really need to be careful because if the gesso goes over the top it could drag the colour over the page and I don't want that. I'm just adding some Faber-Castell gelato in lemon just in the middle of all my flowers. This will make the flowers pop. Now to add some shading I'm just using my Faber-Castell Big Pit brush marker and this colours in nougat so this will add some depth to the page also. So flowers wouldn't be without butterflies so I've got some butterflies here. I'm just going to stamp them out in some jet black in the archive link. Just adding some butterfly trails just with a fine sharpie pen. And I'm just going to colour in the butterflies using some Posca pens in orange, yellow and blue. Now all the products that I am using today for this art journal page will be over on my website and that website link will be in the description box down below. that's my page finished for today. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider. And if you do, don't forget to hit that notification bell for up and coming videos. Until next time, happy crafting. See ya.